mean, if he really wanted to commit suicide, there's nothing I could do about it, but I wasn't gonna make it easy. I just got back from Iraq. I used to drive her daughter to school, and I just had the worst thoughts. The school was gonna blow up, all the kids would be dead. Oh my God, am I gonna be the one that does it? She came into our bedroom. She was shaking. She said, the hallucination touched me and asked me to come into the kitchen so I could hurt myself. I genuinely thought that there were people here in the room. I knew that they weren't there, but they were there, and I couldn't explain that away. And he prescribed me this drug, lorazepam. I took it for six years. And you, wait, you took lorazepam for six years? Six and a, six and a half years. The package insert from the manufacturer clearly states lorazepam is only for short-term use, maybe two to four weeks. Dave told me probably on our third or fourth date that he was on medication for depression and ADHD. I went to the psychiatrist and said, you know, this is this stuff isn't for me. I need to get off it. I think the drug is my problem. That, that's really when shit hit the fan. There are an uppers and downers, and every time they go in, it's their deteriorating mental condition instead of somebody saying, your drug may be your problem. I had brain zap. I had tremors. I had severe night sweats. In 1980, the American Psychiatric Association adopted a disease model and began to tell that story to the American public. You know who was so happy with that story? The pharmaceutical industry. Which now wants to diseaseify every single experience because they want to sell their pills to treat it. So now we believe in magic bullets. Pretty soon we're going to be having magic bullets for everything. You are not able to be around soldiers and no weapons. You have PTSD now. Just take this medicine, it'll make you feel better. People come home from war and they're frequently grieving and suffering tremendously, but none of that's pathology. It's grief. We lost a 50-something-year-old woman whose doctor cold turkeyed her off of Klonopin, and she walked in front of a train because she couldn't deal with it anymore. One of the things that's happened in our culture is that normal has been confused by marketers of all kinds with, with comfortable. And if you're uncomfortable in any way, there's something wrong. <laughs> so now I'm like, it was not me. It was their fucking drugs.